真呃真可以穿针的，真的啊，拿到细的最细的情况下可以穿十一，是吗？Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Off the Great Wall Adventures. This is Mike. Darren here. Today we are in our neck of the woods, yep. Queens, New York. Elmhurst. Elmhurst. Mm -hmm. We both live uh, very much near here. Yep. And this is a place that I've uh, I first found mm -hmm. a couple years ago. Yep. And I love coming here because yep. I think it has the best noodles in New York City, hands down. And then you brought me here. I brought you here. And I lived in this neighborhood for I don't know six, seven, eight years. Right. And I'm like, I never came here. Right. And I took and you here. I was hooked. And now I come here more than you. <laughs> you do. Man. You never discover places. We have a rule with him where any place that he discovers, we can't go to. Because I, I failed a you lot. You failed. You only get like like oh, so man. many chances before we cannot take your recommendations anymore. So we're <laughs> here at uh, Uncle Joe yeah. Restaurant exactly. in Elmhurst. And this is by far my favorite place to get noodles in New York City. I have to say, New, the whole New York City. Whole New York this City. This beats out Flushing. Absolutely. This beats out Chinatown. Yes. This beats out Chinatown, Brooklyn. Yes. Um, I always crave these noodles. Like, yes. At least once a week. Also, uh, if you're not familiar, which a lot of people might not be, with Henan cuisine. Henan. Henan. Not Hunan. Right. Yeah. And Henan is located kind of in the central of China, central sort of. Central East, yeah. And Henan cuisine is called Yu Cai. Mm -hmm. The specialty about Yu Cai is that it doesn't shift to any sort of uh, flavor in particular. Yeah. Like Sichuan is spicy. Right. Shanghai is more sweet. It's mild. It's, it's mild. Yeah, it's very much in the middle. Right. Because uh, Henan used to be a, a transportation or a commercial hub. hub. Yeah. So they have uh, people coming from all directions and all different tastes. Mm -hmm. So they had to make sure like everybody kind of could accept the cuisine. Right. So the flavor is very neutral. It doesn't mean it's blend. Right. It just means that it satisfies people from everywhere. Right. But there's another interesting thing we found about Henan just now is that that famous painting. There's a famous painting in China. It's compared to like the Mona Lisa of yeah. China. The title is Along the River During the Qingming Festival. Yeah. This is actually located in Henan. Yep. You know what uh, is also located in Henan? What's that? Shaolin. Oh, really? Yeah, Shaolin. Shaolin. I didn't know that. Dude, so Henan's pretty cool. Absolutely. And today we're going to introduce you to some of the most popular dishes in Henan. Yeah, we're going to get a treat actually here. Oh, yeah. Oh, check oh, this out. Oh, my gosh. This is a really popular dish, Henan, traditional Henan dish. Holy cow. Oh, man. This is, what? if you look at it at first, it kind of resembles uh, the, you know, the, the, the squirrel the, fish. Squirrel but fish. not. But it's not. It's clearly different. Right. This, oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, wow. This dish is called sweet and sour yep. or sweet and vinegary fish yep. with hui mian on top. Fried hui mian. Fried hui mian. Yeah. Look at this, guys. This is not store bought. No. This is hand pulled noodles. And if you don't believe us, watch what we're going to show you. Yeah. I remember uh, when we went to Flushing and you were telling me about like, oh, look at these thin right. dragon beard noodles. Yeah. It wasn't that thin. Wasn't that thin. No. These are the thinnest noodles I've ever seen. And these noodles, if you look at the way they pull it, it's different than, than what you might see in other places. Yeah. The way they pull it is the traditional way of pulling the noodles. Yeah. And you can see in our footage, it just gets thinner yeah. and thinner until, until it becomes this. And this look is very that. thin. You could put this through a, uh, a, needle. a needle. A needle. And then what they do is right after they pull it, they threw it into a vat of oil. For just a few a, seconds. Yeah, so it holds its shape. Right. Yeah. And this fish is traditional Henan cuisine. Yeah. It's sweet, it's sour, it's crispy. The fish looks like a work of art. You know what it is? It's like a fish wearing a blonde wig. Uh, okay, so we're gonna try this okay. and so excited. Oh my goodness. So excited. Let's cover it back up because we yeah. don't want it to get cold. So just like right, literally right, we're just like go in. Oh, we're gonna God. go in. This is insane. We're gonna poke a hole through here. Mm. Mm. Here it is. Here's mm -hmm. my bite. Oh my God. Yeah? These noodles just melted in my mouth, bro. I'm ordering this every single time when I come back. Every single time. This is another dish you might 
you'll find in every single Americanized Chinese restaurant. Yeah. But don't you dare compare it to this. Don't you dare. First of all, this is not a pancake where you smother it with the sauce right. and, and all you can taste is the sauce. This is traditional yeah. mushu pork. Wow. And this dish was originated from the Henan area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's got egg, bamboo shoots. Yes. Pork, your mushrooms, obviously. and pork. Mm -hmm. and, and I gotta say, the uh, knife skills is apparent because you see like all this, it's all the same size. Consistent. Consistency is the key, right? Yeah. It's all the same size. And um, so any bite you get, you're not gonna get a piece that's too big or too small. I just wanna say, this is my first time actually eating traditional mushu pork. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. amazing. That's amazing. You know, it definitely reminds me of what you were saying. It's, that's it's amazing. Not, it's not bland, it's just the flavor is subtle, but mm -hmm. it's so fresh. And it's very savory too, I love it. This mushu pork is beyond amazing. Beyond amazing. One other thing I'd point out. Mm. The egg. It's so easy to overdo egg, but these eggs are like puffy clouds. And oh the flavor God. to this, there's some distinct flavor to this. It is. It's like a savoriness that you can't explain. I can't explain can't it. Explain it's just it. so good. You ever it's had like something a... you're just like, I don't know what this is, but it's so delicious. Bro, bro. I want to eat some more. Fish. I know. Yeah, I want to eat some more. Fish. All right, this dish just arrived, and this is another very traditional Hunan dish. Yep. Eggplant. Eggplant? But fried. fried. And you can see, I've never seen eggplant like this. Normally it's just uh, sauteed. Yes. And you can literally see that it's been breaded and fried. Yeah. And I could already tell I'm going to like this a lot more. All right, let's give it a shot. Wow. Oh my God. Let me start because I normally don't like vegetables that much. Mm. This batter, I don't know what it is about the batter. It's so savory and delicious. And, the, and, and also the sauce is incredible. Mm. Look at this sauce. This might be the best eggplant dish I've had. I'm not kidding you guys. When people go to other Chinese restaurants, they, they get a lot of sauce, but that sauce is just generic sauce. Yeah. This is like a really- It's, it's garlicky. Almost, yeah. It's, I see a little bit of uh, the little pepper. You see that? Mm. It's a little tomato -y. Oh This The flavor is like savory. The flavor is insane. The flavor it's is It's not insane. very sweet, which is great. These fresh bamboo. Oh, these are so good. The green peppers. Oh, man. And garlic. I mean, it's got the best combination of everything. This is so delicious. So good. But this is not on the menu, so you guys can't get this. <laughs> Another important dish in Henan yeah. is the noodles. Yep. And this is probably one of the most famous. It's hui mian. Mm -hmm. right? So hui mian is one of my favorite things on this planet. It's thick, yep. it's wide. The texture is much more chewy yeah. than your normal noodles. Definitely. It doesn't get soggy easily. Right. And this is my favorite way to eat hui mian. It's not soup. I don't like it in soup. I like it like dry. Yeah. This is a famous dish called yo po mian. Now, on top of the noodles is a layer of fried hot oil yep. and garlic and some scallions. scallions and bok choy. So look at this. So the sauce is on the bottom. You got See some the sauce bean sprouts over there? in there, yep. Yep. And this is gonna have a very vinegary, very uh, slightly spicy taste. I'm gonna make it really spicy because I love hot oil. But this noodle texture is my favorite. This is hand cold noodles. And it's every bite, it's so nice and spongy oh. and chewy. I love this. Oh, the smell. You don't know what it's like to uh, smell fried hot oil over oh garlic. God. It's like the best smell ever. Like when they bring these out, you yeah. can smell the oil, the garlic paste, and the scallions all reacting exactly. together. Um, and we basically, we got a noodle party. So we we want to show you all the different kinds. This is the la mian. Yeah. La mian is thinner. Yeah. It also has a very spongy, uh, nice consistency. Mm -hmm. And remember our video that we showed you in the beginning with the guys hand pulling? This is how you get yeah. the noodle. Sometimes you can make it so thin, like what we have on the fish. Right. But this is like normal, you know, normal sized hand pulled noodles. And this is really interesting. This is dao xiao mian. The consistency of these noodles here is a little thicker than your typical hui mian. Yeah. And it's much shorter because what the, typically what the chefs do is they put the block of uh, flour on top of their head. Right. And they use this curved metal shard knife mm -hmm. and they just like slice it like that into the pot. So it goes in like this. Hence the name knife. Dao xiao, like knife uh, slice noodles. Noodles, yeah. So we're gonna have a ball trying to eat all of these. And it is, it is actually like this and hui mian look similar, but they actually have very different uh, when you, mouth feels. Yeah, when you bite textures. it, you're gonna feel the difference. Yeah. You like oh, that? Man. Yeah? Mm. This is why I come here every week. This is my favorite stuff. the flavor you just and, and of course, it's not just the hot oil, but there's some uh, dark vinegar yep. in there. 
and the combination of that is like the best taste on earth. One time Dan challenged me to eat four bowls of these and I did it. It was more like you ate, you off the bat, Mike ate two. That was, he just comes in, they know to bring two yeah. out. Then there was like, a, a, I couldn't finish some of mine, so he ate that. And I'm like, I and bet your, you can't your eat another one. Your girlfriend couldn't finish hers, yeah, so, so you I ate finished that. Both of ours. So that was like combined one bowl. Yeah, and I thought that was done. So yeah. then I was like, you know what, Mike? I bet you couldn't eat another one. And if you do, I'll pay for that one. And he paid for that one. Yeah, I paid for that. Yeah. But you, but you were full though afterwards. I was full. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is this is, and, and of course here they have so many different kinds of noodles. Yeah. You know, in soup, not in soup. Yeah. So try different ones. Yeah. But this one happens to be our favorite. Right. And trust us, this is the best noodle place in New York City. The so you're gonna really place. love it when you come here. Um, oh, so man. that concludes our adventure in Hunan food because we have still some eating to do here. Absolutely. All right, guys. Again, the uh, location of this place is in our description mm -hmm. box below. Tell them we sent you if you ever come here and try this place out. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.